Good morning, Bingos. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and remain standing for a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Happy Tuesday. I'm Jalen. And I'm Melissa. And now for your Bengal Nation news. Good morning. Senior Catherine Kembro is one of our most talented singers and students at BHS. I have more information. <laughs> Catherine Kembro is a Blythewood senior. She is an active and motivated student with an infectious personality. She's the president of Beta Club and has founded her own club this year, the Satire Club, which she is also the president of. In school, I take honors and AP classes. Yeah. I think that's all I take. Um, I'm also president of Beta Club, and I founded a club this year called the Satire Club. We have 10 members, and it's really cool and really fun. Um, I'm also in a bunch of different honor societies, but Beta Club and, my, and Satire Club are my two cool ones. <laughs> she has been involved in chorus since her freshman year and is an acclaimed singer, making National Honor Choir this year, becoming the first Blythewood student to do so. Um, I've been singing in Blythewood's choir for four years now. I started when I was a freshman. Um, I've made District Honor Choir, um, I've made SCACDA, which is like kind of a region thing, um, and then I've made Allstate, and this year I made National Honor Choir, which is in Minneapolis, so that was cool. With Nationals, I had never had anybody audition before. Um, it is one of the hardest things to make, it is the hardest thing to make as a, a high school student, and um, you're going against the best of the best, and for me, she is the best of the best, and she proved that by um, being able to make nationals on her first attempt. Um, she had to record um, a piece, a little snippet of a piece by Mozart, which is actually very vocally challenging. Um, and I didn't help her at all. I mean, I literally said, here's the music, record it, let's figure it out. And she gave me a recording, and it was absolutely beautiful. It was something I couldn't even touch because I knew that it was just one of those things where she was just going to either make it or she wasn't. And she was prepared and she took the initiative and she did it on her own and it was absolutely fantastic. So um, getting to see her in Minneapolis work under one of the most esteemed conductors, composers, arrangers ever, Eric Whitaker, um, was a really, really moving experience. I mean, I was, I'm not even emotional and I was just like, <sighs> by the time they hit the second chord, I was, I was done. Um, but it was just, it's cool to see somebody come full circle. Um, and to have so many people look up to her, um, myself included. Both her teachers and friends had nothing but positive remarks about Catherine. Hey, Catherine is a really great friend. She's really funny. She can sing. She's really satirical. She has great shoes. Catherine Kimbrough is a very talented female. Um, she's got very. She's done a lot of stuff over the years, and I've seen her grow from like being kind of like shy in her musical like stuff and then growing into being a very like strong confident woman and um yeah Catherine is an excellent student she is diligent she has an amazing work ethic um, she has a true mind and heart for community service and she wants to help others she's so diverse in her talents she's a talented singer she's a great writer I just, I can't say enough about Catherine. I've been friends with Catherine since freshman year. We met in gym and we were also in choir together and that's when I really realized how great at music she was. She's just such a great soprano, like all her notes are very in tune, but also she's just such a nice person and she, she's very nice with like the freshmen and the underclassmen on how to get their notes in tune and what rhythms to do. And she's just always like a really nice person to be around. Catherine Kimbrough. Um, she is one of my absolute favorite students, um, and not just because she can sing well, she's a genuinely good person and she's um, very attentive to details and she um, is just one of those kids who you want to keep around for a long time even though you can't. 
Reporting for BHS Roar Nation, this is Jalen Ellis. This is a reminder that the deadline for Buff Puff Volleyball signups are this Friday, April 7th, and cost is $5 per person. The tournament is April 26th. See Coach Hall for more information. Tomorrow, Groucho's in Blythewood is hosting a BHS night where 10% of the proceeds will go back to the school. Everyone come out and eat and have fun from 4 to 8.30 tomorrow. See a senior class officer if you have any questions. Leo Club Vision Week Smart TV raffle ticket sales have been extended to Wednesday. Get your raffle ticket today for $2 in the atrium at lunch. Also, come out to Scotty's night on Thursday from 6 to 9. Tutoring will be held from 4 to 5 p.m. for Algebra 2 and Geometry in room 116, English 1 and 2 in room 508, and U.S. History in room 515. ASD can be served in the food court from 5 to 7. If you are signed up to volunteer at the Palmetto Half Marathon this Saturday at Sand Hills, there will be a mandatory meeting Thursday, April 6th in the Cyber Center at lunch. You will receive your assignment and t-shirt at this meeting. If you have any questions, contact Ms. Susie Watts of, or Ms. Mudger. Good luck to the following teams in action today. Boys Tennis at Dutch Fork at 5, the JV Softball Team at River Bluff from five, at 5.30, JV and Varsity Boys Soccer Team at Dutch Fork at 5.30 and the Varsity Softball Team at River Bluff at 7.15. And playing home are the JV and Varsity Girls Soccer Teams against Dutch Fork beginning at 5.30 and the Varsity Baseball Team against Lexington at 7. Come out and show your support for our spring sports teams. Tonight, the Varsity Baseball Team will be hosting a student night where all BHS students will get in the game free and get free Papa John's pizza and drinks. There will also be some giveaways during the game. First pitch will be at 7 p.m., so make plans to come out tonight. Cheerleading tryouts will be April 19th through the 21st in the BHS Big Gym. April 19th and 20th will be from 4.30 p.m. to 7.30 p.m., and April 21st will be from 4.30 p.m. until. Tryout packets are due April 18th at 5 p.m. and can be turned into the box marked Blythewood Cheerleading in the main office. Any sports psychology students interested in helping with a promo video should report to Coach Ehrlich's room at lunch today. You should have one word to sum up your experience in the class ready to go. We, we will get you in and out, and there will be a small gift for helping. That's all for sports, not to weather and birthdays. What's up guys, I'm Eric with your weather and birthdays. It's currently 62 degrees with sunny skies. The high for today will be a nice 82 degrees. Expect a cooler day tomorrow with highs between 71 degrees in the afternoon. That's all for weather. And now let's wish happy birthday to those students who are celebrating today. Donald Scott and Emma Duran. That's all for today. Have a great day, Bengals.